Welcome everyone to David Dudley Outdoors and today is going to be a theory. A theory that I think we've all had the question of what is a TRD or what does a Ned Rig represent? So for the most part most of us are going to actually Z-Man, uh, they don't sponsor me, but Z-Man uh, is the kind of the originating uh, company that came out with this technique as we call the Ned Rig. I actually think uh, there was a man and I'm not sure where he's from. You can comment below maybe to help me out. Uh, he's a guy who I think his name was actually Ned and he's the one that came up with it uh, and he's the one who kind of forefronted this technique and uh, Z-Man had ended up producing it and basically the Ned Rig has been a huge player in tournaments uh, of today when it comes especially when it comes to catching smallmouth spotted bass and you can catch some largemouth on the Ned Rig doing it but I want to talk to you and this is it's going to be kind of comical but truthfully it's nothing but a theory, but I'm going to throw it out there and we'll discuss. So make sure you comment below if you think I'm on track because basically what I'm about to tell you is there's no way to prove or disprove what I'm about to tell you. So this is only a theory, but I, I'm, I'm kind of leaving, leaning towards it. And actually, uh, it was me and my nephew, Philip Jarebeck, were driving somewhere and we were talking and he's like man you know i wonder if okay i wonder if this is what it represents so let's talk about the ned rig real quick before i give you my theory of what it actually is so a ned rig is simply like a piece of a cinco it was it's actually called the trd which we nicknamed a turd okay so trd called turd it basically looks like just a piece of plastic, like just a, a little, it's like if you took a Senko, cut off a little piece of it, put it on a jig head, threw it out there, and the fish go crazy over it. But why do they go crazy? Because we have all these fancy lures, right? We have all these lizards and crawdads and uh, creature baits and all, everything that moves, but this simply is just a piece of plastic that you put on a on a on a uh, jig head throw it out there and it's supposed to catch them and it does so here we go i'm going to go right now and collect what i think this is all right so we're going to go out here and i think quarter boy is out here he's at he's actually helping me rig the boat Let's see where he's at hey quarter boy <laughs> Look who we have here. Guess what we're gonna do today? What? <laughs> He's always scared every time I tell him we're getting ready to do something. We are actually gonna go look for some poo poo. Come on. Yep. My dog wants to come with me like always. We're gonna hop in the Hilaris. Oh, that was loud. That was Turn the heat up. Turn the heat on. You excited about catching some poo poo? Catching? Or <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna chase it down. And... Oh no! That'd be good. There you go. We are not searching for. This kind, Cohen, that is not. That's not like a good turd. Quarter boy, that is not what we're looking you just, for. You just... We'll shape it up the right way. Yeah. All right, so we're down here at the pond, and yes, we are going to collect what I think is actual the turd. So check this out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Don't just don't that look like a TRD? Look at that. That look like a look at that. Big TRD right here. 
Come on. That that almost looks like green pumpkin. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, that's just like that's just like Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I got all I need is a hook. I'll give you a free shot. A hook? I'll just put this right through it. Boom! It can't even hit me with one <laughs> shot. Man, you know you're gonna bust in that. No, I'm not. Is it frozen? Look at Corb. Look at my man get jiggy with it. Show him. Show him how. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, can get jiggy with it. I just broke it. Let's go ice fishing with that. Taste, taste it. See if it if it's any good. <laughs> All right, guys. Do not laugh. Do not laugh. You just saw me go and collect what I think it is, and I'm going to give you a logical reason. Okay, I'm going to give you a truly a logical reason why I think that the actual TRD truly is representing a TRD turd or a piece of poo poo or whatever. So here we go. If, if, if you understand ducks, if you understand geese and their migration, uh, Bill Lowen is a guy I was actually talking to one time about uh, hunting ducks and geese and and he was telling me about their diet and what they like to eat on and it and it just dawned on me and it clicked on me and it made so much sense why I can support this theory so the theory is this I truly believe that uh, smallmouth which is a northern fish and uh, spotted bass which can be all over the board are a very aggressive fish a largemouth same thing they can be aggressive but let's think about this there's times when a goose and a duck they're eating acorns they're concentrated on protein which is crawdads night crawlers insects there's a time in their life where they they gorge on protein right before they're getting ready to uh, hatch their eggs their eggs need to get uh, the eggshells need a lot of protein to develop uh, a good hard shell hardy enough to last through uh, however many months it takes for them to hatch out so there's a time but during that time I truly think that when they are uh, getting pooping it out that as it's floating right that bass sees it he smet that's the time of the year when they actually are like and they start eating it. They're getting crawdads. They're getting a, it's like getting a protein Snickers bar falling down, thump, and they start eating it. I, I can't prove it, guys. I can't. I can't prove or disprove what I'm talking about, but we don't fillet enough bass to prove or disprove it. We fillet a bass and we might see some poop inside of that bass, and we rule it off like, you know, it's already digested. Ho, 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 ho. Was that a turd from a goose or a duck that he ate, swallowed it? It was actually a good protein. It tasted good to him. And he was actually eating it because it smelled good. I know that sounds weird to say, but because it smelled good, it tasted good. And I, crazy enough, that this short no, short piece of plastic. Now, let's look closely at a TRD made by Z-Man and actual uh, uh, what we me and Quarterboy collected. All right, so let's take a look and truly see how identical it is to what we collected. So as you can see, here is the TRD, and if I just lay it down and bring one. Look at that. And you can even see where they pinched it off. Like, look at this one. See how the tail is kind of pointy? Guess what? On the TRD, we got a pointed tail with a blunt end. You know, I can only assume that that's what it is. That's what I'm guessing. All right, so I know it kind of looks ridiculous, sounds ridiculous, but truly, 
it's the only logical thing that I can think of that my nephew mentioned about that I can actually give, you know, eh, I can actually lend credit to that thought. I could actually be like, yeah, maybe so, possibly so. Um, besides that, it, you know, who knows what a TRD represents. So I actually uh, have thrown the TRD a lot when it comes to smallmouth fishing, spotted bass fishing. It is a great technique. Guys, if you're, you're new to the channel, go back and surf around on some of the videos I have. There's a lot to offer, and you guys have been phenomenal to me. We have been growing in leaps and bounds the last uh, year. We're growing like crazy thanks to you guys. I don't take any of it for granted. I'm very humbled that you even hit that subscribe button. So if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. It encourages me to keep these videos going. Make sure you hit the thumbs up and share the video if you liked it. It's kind of a funny video. You don't, you know, I can't prove or disprove it. If you got a better thought of what it might be, comment below. Let me know what you think. But either way, guys, thank you for watching this video and I'm out.